Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I am back to do another fact check. And this time, um, I, I think I'm, I'm going to have to look at the guy. The guy that everybody seems to want to be looked at. Now, uh, Manuel Gardner Fernandez. Okay. I'm sure that's his name. Um, I can't really comment on his, you know, who he is, uh, because obviously he's big on Instagram, and I'm not an Instagram user by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I know with all of these videos that have been being made, lots of people are obviously commenting on and pointing at him. Lots of people have been calling him out. Um, so I thought I'd just look into it. So what I have done, for those of you unfamiliar with who I am and what I do, I am a professional transcriber, okay? That's what I do for a living. I write music down. I listen to it, I write it down. It goes in books, goes in magazines. Uh, if you have bought a downloadable product in the last 10 years, chances are you've probably seen some of my work. It's it's how I feed my family, it's how I bought my house, etc. It's what I do, okay? Um, there's not much I should be taken seriously in, in life, um, but my transcription is, is very definitely, you know, that's what I do. So uh, I'm going to take a look at this Mamo Garda Fernandez video. Um, I want you to listen to it first, and I actually, you know, I want to preface this by saying um, he's great. You know, he's a great player. He can clearly play. And I think here's the most important thing. Uh, in terms of stretching those creative muscles, he's awesome. He is He's doing some really cool things on the instrument. And my hat's off to him for that. Like, I enjoy what you're doing. I genuinely enjoy what you're doing. Um, I, I can't really comment on whether or not this is uh, sped up. But I can categorically tell you that this is mimed. Categorically tell you that this is mimed. Uh, and what I found from my last fact check videos, you'll you'll be amazed at how quickly, when I do something like this, the person in question turns around and says, "Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously, it was a it was a playthrough video. I didn't want, I didn't expect anybody to think that you know this was a, a live take. And I mean, to be fair, many people have pointed out his guitar's not even fucking plugged in. So you know, <laughs> whether or not." he is claiming that this is mimed or not i guess that one is up for interpretation i have been told that he claims that he doesn't mime or speed up his videos in any way like i say cannot comment on the speeding up thing but let's take a look at it so uh we're just going to listen to the first part of it and uh, i want you to get an idea of what he's all about he yep yeah, again like i say great player Okay, we're just going to go as far as that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you my transcription of that. Uh, there is definitely some sort of inconsistency in this tapping bit here. Uh, I do I do not like this G note. I can definitely hear him playing a G note there. Um, and I guess technically it is possible to play this as a thing, but it doesn't quite look, you know, how, how he's playing it. This definitely looks a little bit alien to me, and we'll talk about this F sharp in a second. But anyway, sounds like this. Okay, you get the idea, right? So if we just take a look at it, you know, from, from the, uh, sorry, my mouse has a weird double click thing going on. So if we just take a look from the start. Um, now, of course, using transcribe, I can slow this down, right? So, so if we just deal with that, in fact, what I'll do is I will actually slow down my transcription so we can be on the same page. So. so these are all the right notes and everything he plays there looks absolutely fine. And we have these muted things. Now here is your dead giveaway that it's mimed, okay? So if you take a look at what he actually plays here, if you take a look at these harmonics, you see him go between the 7th fret and he, it looks like he goes between the 12th fret and the 11th fret. Ba -bo -ba -bo -bo. Those are the harmonics. And that's played like this. That's where those harmonics are located on the guitar, right? If you look around the 12th fret or the 11th fret area of the guitar, you will not find these harmonics. You will not find these notes. So this entire section of harmonics is played at the 7th fret, but you can clearly see in the video that he moves up to the 12th fret. 
It's a mime. He's miming that. So. There are no harmonics at the 12th fret, and yet we can clearly see them. Um, sorry, let me rephrase that. No, yeah, it's correct. Well, there are no harmonics at the 12th fret, and we can clear, clearly see him going there. So as the transcription continues, you know, we could just name all these arpeggios. A minor 9. Fine. Uh, what, what would this be? You call it a D major, I guess. All correct. And then finally, uh, E minor 9. Now, I could be really picky about this, you know, when you hear him slide into this. He clearly slides into a chord, but it looks like he picks one note. I'm not going to I'm not gonna hold that against him. Uh, because, you know, having done this professionally for almost 10 years now, um, what you find is you find all these weird, like, ghosts in the machine type thing when you're transcribing and there's video involved uh, that you can just drive yourself insane with. Now, this is important. If we look at the, uh, if we listen to what he plays. And then I need to sing higher. Uh, I'm just not even going to attempt to, to sing up there. Anyway. Point is, he's ascending up an E minor seven type sound, or e, well, actually, it's an E minor triad. Um, and if you look at what he plays, you can see that you can see he begins at the seventh fret, he then hits the fifth fret. But where he would need to come in and play the fourth fret, he doesn't do that. That doesn't happen. It actually looks like he would try and bar over and play the the fifth fret on the um, uh, on the G string. That's not what you hear. Now here's another interesting thing. When you look at the tapping, now you hear this note. Ba ba do, ba ba do, ba do. That's the note. Ba. It's a D, and you can see that note here, right? Now again, not overly happy on the way this comes out. Really, like I feel that. If you were going to play this, you'd probably want this uh, G to be there, and it requires refingering everything. But you know, don't want to put too much time into this. But anyway, this isn't up for dispute, right? Ba, ba, ba. But you can clearly see he's tapping at the 12th fret. That doesn't add up. That doesn't add up. Simple as that. The note is D, and it looks like he's tapping a B. Um, and then finally, as you go on. Okay, did anyone spot that when you listen to this a little bit slower? That sounds odd, doesn't it? What's this? Is that a punch in I can hear? That's a punch in that I can hear there. Now, credit where credit is due, when you listen to these octaves here, Ba da da. It's uh, it slows up a semitone. You hit the note. Ba da da. But if you listen really closely, actually on the bottom one, ba ba. He actually overslides with that index finger on the G string. Now he doesn't do that in the video. But what that tells me, or at least what that leads me to believe, is there is no way, no way that he didn't record the guitar part. Okay, the guitar part has been recorded. It definitely is a guitar. And the punch-in would suggest that it's been recorded in sections and then he's miming the video to it. Um, whether or not he recorded it at speed or where he recorded it a little bit slower, that one, there's never going to be a solid way for me to decide that one way or the other. Um, but yeah, just that error. If this was faked in another way, um, you wouldn't have errors like that in there. You, the slide would be consistent. You know, if we wanted to fix the tab, it would actually be this. But obviously, I'm going for what's intended. But yeah, that for me there, this punch in here is such a dead giveaway because it's actually not in time. Actually, you lose a microsecond of the of, of time when it happens. Let's check that out again. 
but you hear it playing instead because the shimmer reverb that he has just cuts out, it disappears. The reverb from what he was playing before is no longer there. That doesn't sound right to me, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, am I really having a go? No, no, of course not. Um, <clears throat> I'm new to this whole Instagram scene and maybe my introduction to it is probably the best way to introduce myself to it. It's probably not by pointing at somebody that's absolutely massive on there and saying, whoa, hang on a minute there. Something's fishy about this. Um, maybe Manuel will come out and say, oh, yeah, yeah, this is totally a playthrough. Like, I'm not playing this live. In which case... Much respect to you, because I do enjoy your style. I think you've got a great style, um, and obviously your career is going going great. Uh, but lots of people, you know, they did ask me about this video, and I, I had to say something because there's no way in, in hell that I can, you know, listen to something like that and not transcribe. It. I have to transcribe it, not because I don't believe what you're playing, but because I enjoyed what you were playing enough for me to go, cool. Let's see what's going on here. And then you start doing it, and you're like, this this is odd. I'm not sure what's what's going on here. Um, and then you know, really getting to hear that. That punch in, in isolation, slowed down like that, it stands out as, uh, as plain as day. To me, at least. That's my opinion. So, uh, there we go. Manuel Gardner Fernandez. I'm sorry if I keep butchering that name. Um, I should check. I'll, I'll check. I'm, I'm a pro. Yeah, Manuel Gardner Fernandez. So, um, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Lastly, big thank you to some of my supporters over on Patreon. You guys absolutely rock. You allow me to keep doing videos like this. Really, I should be transcribing. I'm transcribing a, a killer uh, Matt Sickles a solo jazz piece. For anyone unfamiliar with Matt's work, go check him out. He is the real deal. He's one of those just phenomenally talented guitar players. Um, does these wonderful arrangements and has got a real jazz sensibility to everything he does. I'm a huge fan of what he does and it's been a pleasure doing a couple of transcriptions for him just recently. Um, so, yeah, really I need to get back to my actual job. Uh, but you guys sort of make me think that I can take take a little bit of time out in order to make something like this. So um, lastly, if you did enjoy this video, then please do check me out on Patreon by clicking the button on screen. You can subscribe by clicking the other button on screen and you see two more of my videos. Hope you find something you enjoy. If you don't, cool, move on by. You don't need to watch more of my videos. Um, but if you do, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Catch you in the comment section and uh, have a good evening. Laters.